So last year on the channel, I did some budget buy camping equipment videos and they went down really well. People like to see what budget equipment they could get and if it was suitable for like wild camping in woodland and places like that. So warm weather's here, we're back out. We're gonna do some more of these budget buy videos. Now I'm at a shop called The Range. They sell everything from gardens to kitchens to bathrooms. Everything you need is under this roof. And here, I writ on this bit of paper a sum of how much money I want to spend. <laughs> so once we get back out, we'll have a look and just see how close I got to this amount of money. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Now it does look really busy. So what I'll do is I'll try my best to film things I can. I don't look like an idiot, do I, walking around the shop? You know, so I'll show you what I can do. And it all depends if I can get it to this amount of money. <laughs> So what I'll do is, I'll make my way in and I'll crack on. I think I've had a bright idea. <laughs> Just making us way to camping equipment now. So already I've seen a lot of stuff what I want to buy, but I want to try keep with that budget daughter. So I'm right near tents now. This is where it's gonna be a bit tricky for me, I think. We could get that one, but that's gonna be 49 pound. But I've got a tent like that already. So my first item is the tent. I'll show you more of that in a bit. Sleeping mats are here, camp beds. I think that's only probably a suitable thing. Just bear that in mind, eh? Let's have a further look around. Do we need one of these? I need to find a sleeping bag. I don't get it, these two sleeping bags here are identically the same information on it. If I do it that way you can see. Same temperature ratings. But well, there's £10 difference. One's 60 or one's 50. Right, we're going for the red one. And I'm going to be honest. My budget looks a little bit like should have thought more about this. <laughs> Let's keep going, see what else we can get. Not a lot to be truthful. Let's grab a torch. Head torch is something we do need when it gets dark. So I was going to buy this, but then the adapter, you need to adapt another stove to it. So I don't see the point of that. So next thing is to buy this nine piece cook set. I'm going to have to get one of these stoves and then some gas to go with it. But if I get this, you've got some pots to cook with, your frying pan, you get some plates and you get two cups. So I'd have to think about getting a cup then, do I? But it just means I have to buy the stove and these gas canisters. So check this out for £20. You get a barbecue pit and one of off-ground fire pits for £20. My budget is getting blown. I think I'm best going at two now and just seeing how much this has cost because I only got a basket dinner and everything, I need my hands so I'll stop filming and I'll see you back in the car. So, I was just looking at my receipt. Now, if I wouldn't have got the fold up barbecue and the fire pit one it would have come to 146 pound but instead it come to 166 pound 41p but that's for everything i need apart from something to eat so get something to eat maybe let's say 170 pounds worth of camping equipment now like i say the tent i haven't shown you the tent yet because the tent the tent the tent is a bit weird, so we'll show that within the second part of this video. 
anything else I'll show you because we're going to go do some camping tonight with it also. The next clip for me will be getting out in some woodland and using this equipment and just seeing if it's suitable. But what you lot are probably wanting to know now is I set myself a target. Let me just quickly work out how much extra I spent. What I wanted to spend, £105. Yeah, £105. I spent £166, so I spent £61.41p extra. Oh, <laughs> let's drop the phone. Right, let's get out camping. Right, so I've made my way to my little bit of private woodland. I am meant to be in the Lake Districts tonight and tomorrow, but with my side still being sore from last weekend, I've just decided to cut on my little woodland and take it extremely easy. No straining, just having an easy time really. So welcome to camp. Mr. Carrots there, you've normally, if you subscribe to the channel you would have seen him at Hainsworth Woods on the channel a few times. He's wanting to come along. And I've already got the little stove on the go there. Got a fire going in it to keep the flies away. So that is one of the stove's fire pit, let's say. What are in that box for £20. Completely lifts the fire off the ground. So this is the other stove that you get. That one. I'll, uh, I'll set it up later on and let you have a look at that. So it looks like they've invented this on these now. Must be like some sort of little wind block or heat block. Now let's turn it on. There we go. We have a flame already. So this is the little nine piece cook set that I got. So there's a pan here, two little plates, your frying pan, two little dinky cups, and then you get a, a pan here where your lid fits over it. So I think it'd be a good time to get a brew on go. I don't want to put these on the fire, so I'm glad I brought this stove out. For a minute I thought, is there any need for it? But I might save these pans for when I do hot tank camping in winter time. But let's get some water boiling for a nice drink. So everything that I brought into camp came in this bag. The Yellowstone. A lot of room in the top half of it here. So I managed to get the sleeping bag, the boxes, the stove I carried in. Uh, the big, you know, the, the black stove I carried that in by hand. I managed to get the sleeping mat, some food and stuff like that. All inside this. Now believe it or not, this becomes the tent. <laughs> and that's not me not joking. This is the tent. How cool is that? So in the bottom here, oh, I don't want to stretch too far like that. But your few pegs and your pole there, just one pole. Get some instructions. And the tent is bright blue with yellow cords. Probably two at worst colours, but it is what it is. It's a budget camp. I'm just showing you, but you can camp, do some wild camping, woodland camping. On a budget under £200, let's say. Right. I'll get this set up. Wow. That's meant to be a 
a bug net to keep bugs and stuff out and things like that. I don't think I'll have any issues climbing through the size of them gaps. <laughs> They're massive. I don't think I can show you too good. But wow. This is not going to do good at keeping the midges away from you at all. <laughs> Just taking five minutes. Yeah. So the point of these videos are, but it's showing yourselves and other people who want to get into camping, but it doesn't have to be crazily expensive. Look at the size of this cup. I think it's about almost as big as my baby finger. <laughs> you know, but it's doing the job, isn't it? For all this setup. 166 pound you know it's that's the price of a a decent tent let's say now i don't know what this tent's going to be like i got it out of bag and i thought i want to drink and just relax for a couple of more minutes and crack on with putting the tent up but for all this equipment it's the price of a a nature hike tent let's say but it can be done and i'm showing you in this video but you can buy it if you go to the right shops. You can come out if the weather's decent. It's always better to try do this sort of stuff in the uh, summer months. You don't want to do it middle of winter, would you really? But, you know, it's showing you that you can do this stuff. Right, so it'll do the job. We we'll just have to double check the price, £35. You get one fiberglass pole that goes all the way over the top. And as you come down to the bottom here, you've got another fiberglass pole there. And one on the opposite side. And you've got all these power cords that come out. Pin the bottom out. Got one door here and one on the other side. You've got to take this box off what the tent goes into and turn it over and zip it back up and that pulls it out. It has ripped a little bit just there. There's your vent. There's no bar thing to keep it open. You can push it down if you want, but it won't do much of a decent job. Same again, my pull out lines, another door on this side. So the door is a double layer door. You can just roll it up if you want. Stick that one through there. And just stick that one through there. But like I said, the mesh on the doors is very big. It's massive gaps. So any little flies or midges and stuff will get in there. 100% there. So on the inside, it's very wide, but it's not very big. I reckon if you're six foot, that's your limits you're going to do in this sort of tent. Well, like I've said, it's definitely a beginner's tent. Maybe if you go to a festival or something, take this with you. It's the sort of tent where you won't mind leaving it behind. I don't recommend you do that anyway, but you know, people do it at festivals, <coughs> concerts and stuff. It's a budget tent, end it there. 35 pound, get a couple of camps out of it to see if you enjoy this sort of stuff. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So here's a question. Which side would you have facing up or down, let's say? I'm tempted to think you have the the foil side up for your body heat. Well, and then, I don't know. Many times I've used something like this and I probably still do it wrong every time. Drop in the comment, let me know your thoughts. What side do you sleep on? The foil or the yellow? I'm going for the foil. 
Let me know in the comments, won't you? Right, so we've got the raised fire pit on the go. It's, we've burnt a fair bit of wood now. But, and then we've got the other stove going. Now, this one is probably not the best because you see this here. This is all what holds the stove up. So if that comes off, the whole thing's just collapsing. So to use this round kids or out like that, I don't think it's completely the best to be truthful because all they have to do is move with the heat of the fire and come out and slide and then you, you're having this issue. So I don't think this stove is recommended really. But this one, you can just see how good that's going. Right, so there's Josh, cleaning out his OAX pot, pulled pot burgers, and he's in his hammock and his camouflage. Full camo. Full camo, everything camo for Josh. See, he's disappeared now, he's gone. Yeah, he's just been making pulled pot burgers. There's been some people down having these fires everywhere. He's a bit annoying. Well, that's the bonus of these things, isn't it? I was just thinking about this tent, you know. First thing in the morning, I'll come back and I'll let you know what the condensation's like on the inside. So I do think it's going to be pretty bad for that. Right, so I need to boil some water for my dinner. So I don't know how much I need, so I'm just going to Fill it up basically, switch on, and we'll just sit and wait for that to boil. So, we're gonna have one of these meals. All we need to do is add water up to this line. These sort of meals, if you're new to camping and hiking and places like things like that, let's say, these are the meals that you take with you dehydrated, vacuum packed, or you can get hydrated meals where you just need to put them in your water. But this one is vacuum packed, so what you have to do is open it up. And it'll just... go like that, and then on the inside, you see uh, dry tech. So is it frozen dried meals, these? Anyway. It is what it is, isn't it? But this is chili con carne, so I'll have to fill it up to halfway just there. It doesn't show on the inside, I wish it did, it make it a lot easier for people. Mm. But you can actually tell it is chili con carne. It's the first time you see my channel, check out some of the videos, some camp ones. Because I like to have a, a firebox stove with a big frying pan and cooking a load of food on it and stuff like that. I don't always eat these. I just did it for the easiness of this camp. I like to cook a lot of steak as well. Uh, yeah, so if you're first time you're, you're viewing, do consider hitting that subscribe button as well for videos like this and more videos. Over the summer months, got a nice place to do and stuff. Right, I'll just wait for water to boil, then we'll pour in. And I keep thinking about the condensation in this tent. Right, I need to pour some water in the meal, very carefully. I mean, that's enough water straight away, that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a little bit more in because you can tell how thick it is. 
and it'll only get a little bit thicker anyway so i'll add a little bit more water not much that'll do right leave it for a bit and i'll let you know just how good it tastes Something's going on over here. Just in these bushes here. These ones, sorry. That's what it was. Fox is fighting. So, the chilli con carne is quite surprisingly nice. I forgot what this tastes like, really. I should say, I forgot how good it tasted like. Because the problem is, they do put a lot of kidney beans in it. And the spice is, it's slightly there, but it's not too hot. I don't think chilli con carne is meant to be a spicy meal anyway. Hmm. It's got a lovely, lovely taste. Right, so the head torch doesn't seem to be too bad. You can uh, see things, let's see. You can see the tree there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Move it on to white. There you go. The white really lightens things up well. Not bad for what, three pound, three ninety nine maybe. And back to red. Yeah, it'll do with a first time torch. Hello. Hello. Josh. Yeah. Look how close it is. Right behind my tent. Wait. Right, so we're in the tent now. Most of the items that I got is not too bad. The mat on the floor, yeah, it's just a, a thin mat. So I think that's going to be uncomfortable. And the uh, barbecue fire thing, I think that'll be too unsafe to even have a fire in it. But the raised fire pit, the tent, the sleeping bag is different. I'll make a separate video about this as well. But so far, I'm pretty warm, I'm not cold. I'm going to get off to sleep and I'll uh, I'll let you know in the morning about the condensation. So good morning people. The condensation in here is pretty horrendous. I'll just find something to... Yeah. 
it is really bad. I expected it. Yeah, you can just sit here, watch. <laughs> See, it's just dripping onto my sleeping bag. Bad condensation. Yeah, all the uh, sleeping bag's wet. This sleeping bag's weird, because if I do that, and then if I just stretch, it's quite stretchy. Like I've already said in this video, 35 pound tent. Not gonna expect it to work that well really water but if you can handle that it's a perfect beginner's tent isn't it right so there we have it camp over everything's back in the tent bag let's say tents at the bottom and this becomes like your storage area everything's back in stores here so You've seen for yourselves, you can camp on £160 worth of equipment. I just, you know, like to say, if you camp a few times, do upgrade your equipment. Don't stick to stuff like this because you've seen the condensation. The air mat is, you know, absolutely not the best, but it works. Well, summer months are here, just give your equipment a try. No doubt this is definitely not for winter time anyway. But thanks for watching. I hope you find these videos interesting. If you do, press here. You better subscribe to my channel. I'll share a previous budget camping video up there for you. So you can see I've done a few more of them. But for now, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time.